Hi, it's Steve O'Brien from MTV's Ridiculousness, and I'm here to give Valentine's Day advice. I hope you're ready. Steve O'Brien. Steve O'Brien is an American actor and TV host, born under the zodiac sign of Gemini on the 5th of June, 1988, in Chicago, Illinois, USA. He's perhaps best known for being host of MTV's show Ridiculousness. Sterling Steele Brim is one of four children of Tracy and Frank Brim. His father was battalion chief of Chicago's fire department, while his mother is a Christian pastor. So Sterling and his sisters grew up in a very religious family. Details about his two brothers and sister are unknown. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Living in West Chicago, Sterling's father formed a baseball team and included his son in it, who became widely known for his talent as a player. This led him to debut in the entertainment world when he was cast in a small role in the 2001 movie Hardball. Later, saying, "I started off ranked in Illinois as like the number one baseball player, so they called me in with the kids because I was actually good at baseball." Sterling studied in Whitney M. Young Magnet High School until his matriculation, when he pursued higher education in Morgan State University. Information about his subject is unknown. And it's unlikely that he graduated, as he moved to Los Angeles, age 19. Sterling moved to Los Angeles looking for opportunities in the music industry. If he ever released his own music, it's unknown. Though he found a place working on radio, he also entered Atlantic Records' artist and repertoire division, scouting talent for the most famous label. It was during that time that he apparently adopted the name Stilo. At some point, Stilo started working with Chris Drama Faf in the production company Fantasy Factory, where he met professional skater and businessman Rob Durdick. He used to just hang out in our studio sessions all the time and just kick it. I always used to be making jokes, heating people all day, but I never thought anything of it," explained Stilo. Stilo definitely left a good impression on Durdick, who asked him to do a show with him. Although Stilo accepted the proposal. He didn't think much about it for months until Durdek contacted him again. He called me one day and said, "I'm sorry I've been so busy, but that show I want you to do, we start filming tomorrow." I had never been on TV. We filmed the pilot and I spoke like three times. I was scared as heck. Apparently, MTV didn't think Stila was necessary for Rob Durdek's Fantasy Factory, but Durdek trusted his abilities to host the show. They didn't think they needed me, and he told them. Believe me, you do. He had a talk with me, and told me to be the Sterling he knows. Not only did I end up helping with the filming, but I helped with the structure of the show. I get an actual producing credit on the show as well. The show was on air from 2009 to 2015, though Stilo also appeared in other productions during that time. In 2011, Stilo joined the crew of Ridiculousness, the TV show he co-hosts with Rob Durdek. And Channel West Coast, which is centered among showing and recreating the funniest videos on the internet. Stilo admitted many of the things said by him aren't shown on screen. I say so many things on the show that can't air, because I'm so effing vulgar and I don't care. I'm gonna say what I want to say. The show has guest celebrities reacting to videos as well. Those most loved by the audience were Lil Jon, Riff Raff, and Mac Miller. The latter left a good impression on Sila. He was just organically funny. I don't think he saw any clips beforehand. He was just really funny, and he was high as heck. Ridiculousness is still active, having now been on air for 17 seasons. After a decade without any acting jobs, in 2011, Stilo played the role of Ulysses Williams in the short film Orange Drive. The next year, he was cast as Meaty. In the TV series Wild Grinders, and in 2014, made a minor appearance in Teenage Mountain Lion. After the end of Rob Durdek's Fantasy Factory, Stilo voiced Graham in the video game NBA 2K17, and acted in the short films Scream Killer Party and About the People. Although his acting career is still blossoming, 
he has definitely made a name for himself as a TV personality for a variety of appearances in shows such as How to Bake It in Hollywood, Basic Math Day One, and Amazingness. In 2015, he appeared in an episode of Fantasy Factory and guest hosted Uncorked. His most recent appearance on TV was as a panelist in an episode of The Great Debate in early 2020, and he also has a podcast with Chris Reinacker entitled Wine and Weed. In his personal life, Stilo Brim was in a long-lasting romantic relationship with British businesswoman Connor Walker, who is the owner of Fashion Brands House of CB and Mistress Rocks. It's unknown when exactly the couple started dating, though it's certainly known that they were together for several years. In 2019, they surprisingly deleted their photos posted together on their social media accounts, starting rumors of a possible breakup. Although neither of them confirmed the separation, in July 2020, Connor Walker posted many pictures on her Instagram stories, celebrating her first year anniversary with a new boyfriend, name undisclosed. Stilo Brim is apparently currently single, has never actually married, and doesn't have kids. In 2015, Stilo Brim was accused of sexually assaulting porn actress Mary Jean Vargas, following declarations made by her to New York City Police Department. Stilo and Vargas were together in a car in Central Park when the alleged assault took place. He just starts punching me. He tries to hit my face. He hit my boobs in the most violent way I've ever been touched. And I'm driving and I can't defend myself. Stilo Brim negated the accusations, declaring Vargas' words were absurd and that she had threatened to accuse him of rape while they were in her car, which led him to jump out of it, hurting his arm in the process. However, Vargas insisted her words were true. This isn't a play, it's something that happened, and I'm hurting, and he's switching everything around and trying to play the victim. I was physically attacked. He's making me seem like I'm wrong. In 2017, Stilo's three-year-old nephew drowned in his Los Angeles house pool. Following a report made by Portal TMZ, the kid apparently wandered out alone in the morning and fell into the pool without his parents noticing. The child was taken immediately by paramedics after being found, though it was already too late and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Stilo lamented the unfortunate and sad event, declaring, Last weekend, my beloved nephew passed away in a tragic accident. We will miss him dearly and ask for prayers and privacy during this time of mourning. Physically, Sterling Stilo Brim is Afro-American. His weight is unknown, but he's 5 foot 6 inches, 1.73 meters tall. As of late 2020, Stilo Brim's estimated net worth is over $3 million. The result of his work on TV as a host and actor. His best friend is actor Michael B. Jordan, who was his roommate when Stilo arrived in Los Angeles. In 2018, he bought a house in Cape Cod, Massachusetts for $3 million, which is presumably where he lives now. It's your boy Stilo Brim once again from MTV's Ridiculousness. That was probably horrible advice, okay? Let's be real. I don't know what to do with Valentine's Day, but watch Ridiculousness. Our season premiere is February 14th, now on Thursdays at 10 p.m. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.